Greetings folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to get an OpenTX radio to tell you the value of a pot, but only when you change it. 16 minus 37. Now this was prompted by a request from a viewer called FC. Uh, FC has the gains for his uh, S6R gyro stabilised receiver on the S2 pot, and he wants to be able to adjust the uh, gyro gains uh, but not have to look at the radio to see where it's adjusted to just hear the readout didn't want to have to flick a switch to hear it he just wants to minus 93 minus 33 change the knob and hear where it's changed to so let's get to it we can do that with a logical switch so we need to set up a logical switch so let's go for logical switch one and what we want to choose the function for the logical switch is tricky one here it is here, so this is it's the absolute change is greater than or equal to x. So that means when the input changes plus or minus direction uh, and it's the change is greater than or equal to whatever you decide as x, then the logical switch will turn on. So first variable will be the S2 pot, so we'll just select that there. That's what we want to um, detect what is changing. Second variable or constant is how much it's changing by. We'll, we'll choose one uh, which is the minimum change I guess. You can add it another condition like a switch uh, and a duration for the switch for the logical switch to be on. Now I found that we needed the duration to be about three uh, and you'll see why in a little while. So set that to three. So that's the logical switch set up. And now we go to special functions and we choose that logical switch and uh, so that was logical switch number one. There it is there. We want it to play value and play the value of the S1, S2 pot. Now I've found you need that uh, play value to continue for two seconds so that you hear the readout of the initial position of the S2 pot and the final position of the S2 pot. So now if we watch the logical switch here, it, it uh, goes to thick font when it's activated. So if we move the S2 pot. 13, 4. So you can see it, it stays uh, activated for three seconds and that gives Amber enough time to read out the start and the finish position of the S2 pot. Now that's fine if you are happy hearing minus 100, minus 100, minus 94, 100, up to 100. My logic would say we want to actually hear from 0 to 10. That's a good sort of uh, range of numbers to describe a gain setting. And we can do that if we, instead of reading out the value of the S2 pot directly, we apply that to a channel and a curve and we adjust the curve to go from 0 to 10. So let's do, do that now. So we'll go to curve 2 uh, because I've already got, already got something on curve 1. We want a standard. I only need two points. Point 0.1 can stay at 0, point 0.2 we put up to 10. You can use your own numbers here if you wanted to go from uh, 0 to 100, it's up to you. So that's curve 2. Go across to, and now we need a spare channel, say channel 9. And let's have, uh, channel 9 is operated by the S2 pot, uh, but we'll apply that curve now. So now we have channel 10 operated by the S2 pot, but it's uh, restricted by the curve to go from 0 to 10. So, so now what we need to do is uh, read out the value of channel 9 instead of the S2 pot. Let's leave everything else the same. So let's... Five, zero. So 0, uh, fully counterclockwise. 0, 4. 4. up to 10 at its full clockwise rotation. Now I don't know how to set it so that it only reads out the end point of the movement of the dial, uh, but that's Seven. that's fine. It reminds you where it was and then tells you where you've left Seven. it. So just quickly go back through that again, set up a logical switch using the absolute change greater than or equal to X function. The uh, thing that's changing is the S2 pot. The 
unit that it's greater or less than is one, so minimal movement, and you want the switch to stay on for three seconds. So now in special functions, whenever the logical switch number one is on, play the value of S1 pot or channel nine uh, for two seconds. And to get the readout to go from zero to 10, we use a spare channel operated by the S2 pot, but modified by, the, by a curve and the curve, standard curve, two points going from zero up to 10. So there you go, FC, I hope that is what you're after and anyone else is watching, I hope it's useful. Thanks for watching.